Hello? Uh, the conjugate of a third, right? Just now we talked about a single third in the denominator. Now, what if they have two third, right? So, uh, how to divide by a third? So, we need the help of conjugate if this is a single, uh, it's not a single third. <coughs> so, at first, what is the conjugate of a third? Uh, so, if you have a third, for example, plus with square root of b, and it's conjugate. Uh, it's conjugate. Conjugate, usually we will put negative square root b. We just convert the negative, positive become negative. Okay, either one. You can also convert, uh, you can also change the sign negative here, but here stay positive, but here negative. Either, either one of the either term, you change the sign. Either one of the term, you change sign. So you put negative. So what happened if you have a conjugate? This is, this is the, uh, sorry. This is the conjugate of this, and this is also the conjugate pair of this. Right? They are conjugate pair. So you have a positive square root of b multiplied with square root of a minus with square root of b. So square root of a, square root of a, as you know that, square root of a multiply with square root of a, you will have a, right? You will have a. So square root of a, square root of a, you have a, and negative square root a square root b positive square root of b square root a and positive negative negative square root b square root b you will have b so the middle term will eliminate right because these are the same okay square root b square root a is the same as square root a square root b so negative one positive so eliminate so you have a minus b can you see that this is become a uh, rational number, all right. A rational number. So this is the powerful of third, right? Thirds at least conjugate. So, for example, okay, I I can I can show to you. Okay, what is the uh? So I, I shouldn't write here as bar z, uh, all right? Uh, so the thirds and its conjugate, all right? Uh, and its conjugate. So now. Let's look at the first one, huh? the first one. So if you have square root of five minus with two, so you multiply with its conjugate. Uh, what is a bad conjugate? So very simple, either one, you have square root of five. Usually I ask students, don't confuse, just change the middle sign, the, the sign here, become positive two, all right? Uh, but for complex number, for complex number, the conjugate always you change in front of the i, all right, not the imaginary, the sign must change in front of the imaginary number, not this real number, okay? For example, if you have three i minus one, so which one you should change for complex number, the conjugate, so it's the negative three i, uh, this one stay negative one, right? Just, just the imaginary, you change the sign, one positive, one negative for imaginary. But for third, it's different, huh? for third, uh, for third is different, so, uh, you can either choosing square root of 5 plus 2 or you can write uh, the conjugate can be negative square root of 5 okay change positive become negative then this one maintain all right uh, both will be correct all right conjugate for this negative you convert become positive right uh, so or either you change this one become negative but this one remain negative 2 all right both after you multiply you will get a rational number Okay, for example, I'm using this, uh, okay? Uh, so, okay, never mind, we just ignore this. So, look at this, square root of 5 uh, plus with 2. Okay, let's see. Square root of 5 and square root of 5, you have 5, right? You have 5. Then you have uh, 2 square root of 5, right? 2 square root of 5 minus with 2 square root of 5. And minus with 4. So you see, the middle term will be gone. 2 square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 5. So you have got 0. So 5 minus 4, you have 1. Can you see that? Uh, you multiply, you will get a rational number. Alright? So this means this is a conjugate for this. Uh, if you multiply, you get another third. Uh, this is something wrong with your conjugate. Alright? So uh, let's see the next one, this one. Alright, this one. Alright. So.
So what's the best the conjugate for, for 4 plus 2 square root of 6? It will be 4, 2 square root of 6. Just change this become negative. Alright, so you multiply 4 plus with 2 square root of 6. Multiply with 4 minus 2 square root of 6. Huh. So, of course, it will get a rational number. So, rational number 4, 4, 16. Positive, negative, negative 4, 2, 8 square root of 6, right? Plus with 2, 4, 8 square root of 6. Can you see something here? It's always get 0, right? So, and this one will be negative, positive, negative, 2, 2, 4. Square root of 6, square root of 6, you will get 6. So, you have 16. Here, you have 0. Minus with 4, 6, 24, right? Uh, so, you have negative 8. Negative 8. So, which is a rational number also, all right? A rational number means a number that is not irrational, all right? Uh, so, refer to the first uh, part of this lesson. We talk about rational and irrational number. So, uh, this is the third, okay? This is the third for this. So, the same thing also for this. Uh, the third will be 3 square root of 7, 2 square root of 2, and you put a plus here. If negative, you put plus here. Alright? Uh, for this also, 4 square root of 3, square root of 5. In order for this to become a rational number, you have to multiply with its conjugate, uh, the negative. Okay? Uh, so, I hope you understand uh, uh, about conjugate. So, uh, the next video, I'm going to talk about the uh, the division of a set.